Did you hear we spread the show as located? I'll do it right in front of you. As you see right here, this country is no longer free. We've got Bill Clinton's people trying to stop me from speaking in front of the Sheridan. This is not Nazi Germany, ma'am. This is America, the land of the free. Come over here and talk on TV and say your words on the camera, please. This is America, land of the free. What right does Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton have to stop me from campaigning in front of the well, Sheraton Hotel? Bill Clinton, he this doesn't have the right to stop you. That's right. However, we do have the authority to stop you from getting over the security check. No, you, you can search me right here. Search me right here. I'm not carrying no guns or bombs. Search me right here. That's the problem with Bill Clinton. He's afraid of the American public. I say it's time to get down with rich pigs like Bill Clinton, elect the Reverend Bud Green instead. You what, sir. And you're a black man. You got to realize this guy just cut welfare. He's practicing genocide, you know brother, what? against your people. But you know what? I'm a black man, but you know, the, well, it doesn't apply Don't sell out the race, though. You know no, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not selling out my race. What do you define selling out your race as? As supporting people like Bill Clinton no. that are practicing genocide on America. Yeah, the welfare bill is genocide. Yes, you do, sir. I'm just complaining right here. This is no longer a free country anymore because Bill Clinton can control who walks across the street. Okay. Come over here, officer. We want to know why we can't cross the street and take You're pictures. Yeah, but we're here for the Jerry Springer show. I'm a, I'm a okay, presidential what? candidate in five states, You're Reverend Bud Green. Not credentials. That doesn't it's sound fair. Area. Yeah, but hey, search me. Search me right now. I have no bombs or guns on me. Yeah, that sounds like Nazi Germany to me, sir. Thank you for what it's worth. It's a secure area. This is secured by the Secret Service. Is Bill Clinton afraid of the American people? I don't know. I think he is. Rest my case. Thank you very much for showing up. All right. I'm going to suck my mud. Here, let me say something. Get the mic in. Get the mic in. Let's go. <laughs> She just made me hit me in the head. Prior to our arrival here in Chicago, Jerry offered us the use of a private jet and a suite right next to the door. We declined it. We instead we flew commercial in coach and took accommodations at Motel 6 so we could relate to the common man. And I want to tell everybody, the Motel 6 left the light on for us. And that's the truth. I also want to thank Motel 6 for not absconding with my buds when I left them in the room. Appreciate that. Yeah. that you may never forget your encounter with the Reverend Bud Green. That entitles you to one joint. That entitles you to one joint on election day when you redeem it. grown weed. Right on. Oh my God. Reverend. Wow. Did you get busted on that show when you sparked nah, up? Nah, they can't do nothing, Reverend Bud, because it's legal for me to worship the Lord as I see fit. Exactly. Exactly. No, no. No, this is, uh, we're taping for Springer right here. When's it gonna... You should show up tomorrow. It's gonna be on the, we're gonna tape the thing in the studio tomorrow if you guys wanna come down and check it out. I'm from Newport Beach. Right on. Right on. You know we're, you know we're from California, yeah. brother. Right on. Oh, man. I wish I had the chronic. That's fucking uh, patty right cruise here. Cruise by tomorrow, you'll see some tomorrow. Right on. This is the only man, and let me, let me just say this to America. This is the only man who has ever had the, the guts and the size testicles needed to get on TV and smoke marijuana in front of the public to let everyone know that it's not such a bad thing, that the police should have nothing against a 30-year-old responsible American citizen smoking a joint. And that's the whole point here. Smoking and marijuana how, is how, a victimless crime. How come alcohol is legal? Not. Nobody smokes a joint and beats up their wife. That's Nobody right. smokes a joint and then crashes a car. Nobody smokes a joint and then acts like an asshole. Every it, it drug should be illegal except for marijuana. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, horrible. And then that's legal. It's now, this it's is a good American. It's cultural bias. <laughs> it's because it's the marijuana is grown in Africa and other countries like that, and the white Europeans say no. That's the whole deal. There you got it, Jerry. The youth of America that's speaking right. the truth right there, Jerry. It's good to meet you, Reverend. Yeah. How old are you? May the Lord of the Holy Year be with you. I'm from Newport Beach, California. I'm uh, just visiting my friends. Okay. Right. Okay, we're going to head to Michigan this? Avenue and do some more campaigning. Yeah. Where's your deal tomorrow? Uh, right here. NBC. We feel that marijuana should be legal, it should be taxed, and it could erase the national debt. Because Absolutely. we have so many bud smokers in this country that there's enough that well, we could get rid of the national debt right away. I see that. that this, this is sort of I have to tell you something. I know you're wearing your President Clinton thing here, but uh, you can't trust the man who said he didn't inhale. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot.